Yeah, Roderick! Ooh. Curse is bloody leg. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> Come at me. Uh. Bring your opponent down to your level. Ow. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Oh, God. Wait for me to attack. I have a feeling I have to do this. <laughs> okay. Eek. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Sorry. I panicked. Let's try it again. Please. Please. E. E. Uh. Uh. I did it. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. oh, God. I'm dying. We're all dying. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. Screw you, Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Get out of here. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to see Lady you. Lady Elena. Screw you. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Ooh, Talia. I like it. I like it, Talia. I like it. Sassy. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately? No, we don't have anything to say in private. Because we're not You remember betrothed. my little brother? Quiver. Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind wow, us coming unannounced. Rude. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... That doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Um... Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Okay. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? what? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Yeah. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? I should have home not. But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. Oh my god. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Okay. What happened? Who are you talking to? Ooh! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Amazing! Hello! You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. Perfect! They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Good work. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Um... Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't still have, have any reason to keep him around. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. 
You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I don't know, man. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'll do it if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. This is. You come through oh, for us. God. My men are yours to command. This is really awkward, Thank actually. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Because it's Could like. Give us a it kind of pisses me off. She's totally using us to get out of a shitty marriage. Ugh. I do not like her. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Screw you. Maybe when this is all over, we could Screw play hide and seek in the grove you, again. You, Elena. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Elena. I love you too. Screw you. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh god. Oh god. Awkward. Yes. Okay. Who? I was like, oh crap, what if she pulls away or something? Elena won't forget that. Damn straight she won't forget that. Mmm. Seriously though, Elena's a jerk. I do not like her at all. <laughs> oh god, we're so dead. We're so I can't believe it's another coronation. Dead. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of fancy one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei it past her. and Jaime. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Yeah, stare at him. God. <clears throat> Lord White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know uh. what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. Yeah. Say that I'm again. Uninvited. Ooh, Ooh awkward. Hell. Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. Oh, God. It's nearly time. Oh, I'm so dead. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. It's, it's true. It's true. go. Time to break out. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. Is that the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Here we go. It's my chance. Let's make a run for it. Okay. Do 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 do. Look at the blanket. Probably covered with fleas. Oh, delicious. Look at the sand. Just sand. Bucket. Must be the latrine. Oh. I'm not sticking around to use it. <laughs> Sack of onions. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. Oh, cool. 
if I ever find a way out of here. Um, I would like the the rusty trowel to shank. That might be useful. Shank someone with that if needed. Hopefully not another brother though. <laughs> that would be bad. Scraps of wood. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Oh, can I open it? Don't know what I expected. <laughs> you never know. Oh, there's a hole in a wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Oh, I thought we were going to look out and see if there were people or anything out there. No one out there. Good. Let's push this loose stone. I can't move it. Won't budge. Oh, shit. Um, I'm just sitting here. Jared. Oh, hi. Cotter. I knew what it, you Cotter. Doing here? Cot Cotter. I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do oh it. Oh, my God. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed, too. Why would you want to help me? You had my back with Finn. He would have killed me over that knife. I figured it was about time I returned the favor. Sweet. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Yeah, I'd say that's a good idea. I'm, I'm go not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. <clears throat> do you have a trowel? It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Get in there. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Seems like I'm... It's very noisy, though. Chip. 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 Anything? I can see it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? Oh, kee 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 Booyah! Ee ee. Shh. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Q. Q. Get out of there. I feel like it's probably really hard to run away from Castle Black. Ooh, down! Ooh. It just seems like there are a lot of people awake and moving around all the time. That are like trained to spot people. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Jesus, Connor. Oh, shit. Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? I thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. You can't it be worked, seen with us. Didn't it? Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming what, with us, Finn. Finn. What are you on about? 
Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. It's true. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker? Off? <laughs> Rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. We'll bring him. Admit it. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. Wow. Worst lookout ever. Stop. 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 Stop.